Uh-oh, we've got a flat tire. Okay, maybe not really. So we got a comment from Angelina Triplett. She said, thought, just thought about a great video idea I would be interested in watching, how to change an RV tire. Our rig did not come with a spare tire jack, tire iron, etc. We have bought a spare, just thinking you all would do this idea justice. Good idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I change a tire on, a, on an RV. The first thing I did was set the parking brake in the truck. Make sure you keep the tow vehicle hooked up to the trailer while you do this. This is our flat tire. So what I'm gonna do is block the tire opposite of this one. So I'm gonna go to the other side and put in my wheel chocks. nuts. There's almost always going to be a cover here. Some of them just pop off. Some of them have a little slot where you can pry and pop them off. Ours though on this Jayco has a screw. So you got to remove the screw to get the cover off. So now we can see all of our lug nuts. From Walmart, you can buy one of these four ways. I'm not a big fan of them, but I do carry this one as a spare. Okay, so this is a 13 16 nut. The problem with these is you don't get a whole lot of leverage. So you have to sit on the ground, use one foot on the bottom and pull it from the top to break them loose one by one. So this is what I carry, a breaker bar and a socket. This is a half inch drive breaker bar. Makes it way easier. Now that they're all broken loose, I'm gonna jack up the camper. The spot where you want to do it is either just ahead of or just behind the tire that you're changing and you want to use the frame rail to raise the, the trailer up. So I carry a 12 ton bottle jack. This has this hose on it because it's also air actuated but you don't need an air compressor to use this. The top of these jacks will screw up to kind of give you some additional height. You can see we're still got about, I don't know, six inches there. So what I'm gonna do is grab our leveling blocks and put them underneath the jack. these lug nuts. That was a workout. <laughs> and all these tools I always carry with us in the camper, always. Okay, now that that tire's removed, we can pull the spare tire off. So part of my pre-trip that I like to do is check the air pressure in all the trailer tires and check the pressure in your spare tire. Now the lug nuts holding these on are the same size as the ones on the on the tire itself, 13 16s, on this trailer.
you want to do is get these snugged up. And as you tighten them down, do the nuts opposite from each other. So I just tighten this one up here. So I'm going to move down to the bottom. Top and bottom are tight, so now I'm going to go up to this one here. Top left corner. Out of the bottom right corner. Bottom left corner. Top right corner. Now we can lower the jack. Okay, so a lot of the weight of the trailer is now on the tire, so now we can finish tightening it up. On the side of the highway, you're just gonna wanna tighten them up as much as you can and go. But there is a torque sequence that you should use for long-term use. For now, I'm just going to tighten these up. And again, I'm doing the nut opposite from the one I just tightened. I'm just going to go all the way around now, make sure they're all tight. That's all there is to it. Pick everything up, put it in the back of your truck, or whatever you tow with, get down the road. So the last thing you need to do, if you change the tire yourself, or if you have a tire shop put the tire back on for you, is to check the torque of the lug nuts. If a tire shop does it, make sure that they do not just run the lug nuts down with an impact gun and call it good. Make sure they use a torque wrench and torque them down. Now I'm looking in my owner's manual to see what the torque spec is on it. So we have to uh, torque this down in three stages. We have a six lug tire, 15 inch, and it's aluminum. So stage one is between 40 to 50 foot pounds, and then 95 and 115. So I'm gonna set my torque wrench to 45 foot pounds for the first stage. I can see. Do you want to have a QC check on that? <laughs> yes, I do. So those are all torques. So the next stage is 95. I'll set this to 115 for the final stage. all torqued down I'm just gonna go one more time all the way around for good measure
put the cover back on and we're done. If you guys found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and leave us a comment for future videos that you like to see. Catch you later.